Hey guys! Today I'll be sharing some tips to help you make better homemade squishies. I started making squishies six years ago and as you can see they weren't always that great. So I hope this video serves as a motivation and is helpful for those of you who want to make homemade squishies. First I'm going to show you all the supplies I use for my homemade squishies. The puffy paint brand I use is called Tulips but there are several brands that also produce puffy paint and they work just as well. The plastic packaging I use is from Daiso, which is a Japanese dollar store. Now for the material that I get asked about the most. I use both memory foam and density foam, but it honestly does not matter what type of foam you use. I used to use the bottom part of those thick dish sponges, not the thin ones. Car sponges also work well as long as they don't have large holes. My friend bought me these fake sprinkles, but you could also make your own with clay or just draw them with paint. Next are accessories for creating keychains such as eye pins, jump rings, and cell phone straps. Finally, I use paintbrushes and popsicle sticks for painting my squishies. The next tip is how to shape foam more easily. Rather than sculpting an entire squishy in one complicated shape, I like to break apart my subject into several different shapes. So for example, I'm breaking Kirby into a circle, oval, and half circles. Then I let my squishies dry with a toothpick because I can cover more surface area this way. If you want to make your squishies slow rising, the secret is to add more layers of paint. And as you can see, the final squishy is much more slow rising compared to the first layer. This one took me 4 layers of paint. The final tip I have for you today is creating texture. You can use your scrap foam and cut them into smaller pieces to use them as breadcrumbs. I'm making a Korean corn dog in this video, but you could also use this for things like fried chicken or creating fur for an animal. These are all the tips I have for you today. Let me know if you have any further questions in the comment section below and I'll try to answer as many questions as I can. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys!